Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today's video is about that uh, how we can uh, use Python in different platforms, and particularly I will discuss that uh, you can use uh, Python from Anaconda, and uh, that how we can install and by installing Anaconda uh, with the help of Jupyter Notebook, uh, which libraries you can access, and uh, you don't need to install at uh, pip. And now. Uh, the topic you can see here is that uh, I have written down is data ranking and data visualization because most of the time by doing research, whether you are doing research, primary, uh, the research on primary data or secondary data, and in particular, when you are doing uh, um, uh, research on secondary data, you need to clean the data and that is called data wrangling. And after analysis, you will have to display the data that is called data visualization. And now we need to write a program. We have different platform like we can use a, a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this notebook basically integrates the code and its output in single document that combines visualization. Uh, so most of the time we need uh, this uh, Jupyter Notebook that how we can get this uh, Jupyter Notebook. Here is some procedure that first of all, uh, we will have to install the Anaconda. Uh, by writing uh, in Google, just write uh, Anaconda download and uh, you will get uh, the link. And after clicking at that link, like here, you can see that uh, we have this link. And then uh, if you are using Windows operating system, then you can download uh, the Anaconda for uh, Windows. Uh, now, after downloading uh, this Anaconda, uh, Anaconda is uh, like a distribution of uh, many other uh, programming languages like R and Python and so on. Uh, so, uh, with the help of uh, Python, uh, you can do different analysis like you can uh, do the analysis of machine learning, predictive analytics like HR analytics, uh, finance, uh, our fin analytics, uh, project analytics, uh, and so on, our people analytics. So the main aim is to sim uh, that that uh, how uh, you can uh, uh, interpret the results and uh, how you will do your analysis. So in Anaconda, after getting this option, you will download the data. And after downloading the data, uh, there are many ways that uh, you can use uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook. Now, for example, uh, in Anaconda, uh, you can uh, click on Anaconda Navigator, and in any uh, Anaconda Navigator, you will get this type of screen, and just uh, click on this Jupyter Notebook where at the end it is written as Launch and press Launch option. Uh, we have another uh, options as well. Uh, that uh, in search button uh, at your PC or laptop, you can search Jupyter like this one and click on Jupyter, you will get uh, Jupyter Notebook. Or you can use, as I have already mentioned that with the help of Anaconda Navigator, you can launch Jupyter Notebook. Or with the help of uh, Command Prompt, you can run the Jupyter Notebook. And now uh, in Anaconda, we have uh, well-known libraries uh, like uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, and so on. And uh, uh, with the latest version of Anaconda, uh, you can find uh, these number of uh, libraries, and you don't need to install uh, these libraries. Like uh, we have well-known libraries, you can see in the screen. And now I will explain um, uh, all these libraries uh, one by one very briefly. Like uh, NumPy. Uh, it is basically numerical com uh, computing library. Uh, it provides uh, large multi-dimensional arrays and matrices. And uh, uh, like in portfolio analysis, you uh, dealt with you will have dealt with matrices. And we have a number of uh, mathematical functions, and I will explain uh, all these libraries one by one uh, while using a Python program. And the other one is Pandas, very powerful library uh, that is used for data manipulation and data analysis, including data wrangling means data cleaning. And it also provides for handling and analyzing uh, the 
tabular data like you can see in your Excel that we have rows and columns, and here uh, the rows uh, are called index, while uh, we use uh, columns as well. Now, for visualization, we have uh, Matplotlib library where we have charts, graphs, and many more uh, graphs. And then SciPy. Uh, these this library is also used for scientific computing in Python, and uh, we have also different mathematical optimization, linear algebra, integration, interpolation, signal processing, and uh, many more options in this uh, library. And we have uh, many uh, statistic functions as well as, and we import uh, uh, different uh, statistic function like uh, uh, we want to check the normality in the data, linearity in the data, or uh, uh, association of different variables in the data. Uh, then we use, uh, we import basically stats from this SciPy. And then we have uh, SciCartLib is a machine learning uh, tools or the library that is used in Python and we have a different classification of uh, and we have regression clustering and uh, data reduction techniques by using this scikit learn and definitely I have also talking about uh, uh, Jupyter notebook and then we have Cborn. Cborn is also another library for statistical visualization in Python and uh, then we have a uh, bouquet. It is also interactive visualization. Uh, it provides an interactive visualization in the Python. And we will learn more about all these libraries uh, later on. And we have some uh, other machine learning uh, 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 libraries. Uh, it means that uh, if we are uh, doing analysis of machine learning, then we have TensorFlow, uh, PyTorch, and uh, uh, Keras. And for natural language processing, we have NLTK, SpakeEye, and GenSim. So these are main libraries uh, that are the part of Anaconda. Uh, so it was a brief introduction. And after getting the Jupyter notebook, and we have some uh, options uh, in Jupyter. Uh, and while clicking on Jupyter Notebook, or you can get this Jupyter Notebook in many ways, as I have already explained, you will see a screen like this one. And here uh, you can add uh, further lines. And uh, we have uh, uh, some um, uh, commands uh, in Jupyter Notebook, uh, like uh, you can press A or B to insert the line below or above the cell, or you can convert uh, uh, the active cell into markdown. Or uh, you can, by with the help of Y, we'll set the active cell to code cell. Similarly, uh, twice time pressing D, you can delete active cell. And uh, we have uh, a number of uh, other uh, commands that will help you to edit uh, your program. And you can uh, get help. Uh, or of any command by shifting by pressing shift and uh, tab. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, in my next video, I will uh, explain uh, different structure of uh, Python program like sequential structure, repetitive structure, selection structure, and uh, uh, you will learn many more uh, application of uh, Python. Uh, thank you very much.